Hello, this is Linda from Remade with Love, and you're joining me for the third video, uh, the third challenge set out by Amy Howard to use one stencil in three different ways. I've chosen to use this cute little folk art fox for three things that I'm actually creating for my great nephew. Um, the first one was an apron so that he can either help cook or help garden um, and it's got this cute little fox on the front. The second one was the picture frame with the fox and his name on it. Both of those will be on my website, my Facebook website page, which is Remade with Love. And you can also watch these videos on YouTube. The third one will be one of my favorites, which is using etching cream on a glass. Before I do that, I did want to talk to you a little bit about, gosh, it's raining outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is a thunderstorm out there, so I apologize, but please bear with me. So a couple of things that you'll need. You notice that I wear my gloves whenever you use etching cream, please be careful, use protective equipment. Um, if this can etch through glass, it can etch through your skin. And so I want you to wear rubber gloves that have the thickness that will allow you to use them safely. Um, a Maker Studio etching cream, very thick, great cream that you can use. Um, a Maker Studio stencil, it's the folk art stencil with the fox on it. A bowl of water that we'll do rinsing in. Um, a kind of a stiff bristled paintbrush so that I can um, stipple the uh, etching cream through the stencil mesh. And I'm using a tray just to protect my surface. So I've got all these things in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and put the mesh stencil on. Like I said, when you're working with a curve, you sometimes have to really be careful about <laughs> the thunder. Be careful about the stencil so that it really adheres to the surface all the way around and the whatever your medium is, in this case the etching cream, doesn't go outside of the area that you want it to. So I am, I'm working with the fox because it is an animal that my nephew has repeated in his room. He's got bedding with little foxes on it. He has, gosh, a pillow, some fox creatures in his room, uh, little toys and pacifiers and things. And so that I thought would be readily identifiable for him. And while he can't read, he can certainly reach for the glass that has his little animal spirit on it. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Make sure that all stays in there. Okay, so I've got the uh, stencil wrapped around. I'm not going to do the little leaves. I'm just going to do the fox. I'm going to go ahead and set that down while I get my gloves back on. Um, you want to be careful. Etching cream can get on your skin, and it may not. You may not feel a burn. Um, it may not affect you, but but rather than take the time to run over and put water on your fingers or your hand if you get cream on it just be careful and immediately uh, and right away from the beginning wear some kind of protection okay so this cream is really thick it's like a really thick toothpaste I'm gonna stir it up just a little I'm always gonna have water near me I don't want anything to happen where I I'm in a bit of emergency situation, so I'm going to be careful about that. We're just going to go ahead and paint this on. It won't take very long to do. Making sure I am covering pretty thickly all of the areas that I want to have etched. Now, how this works is 
etching cream will not eat through plastic. So it's not going to harm my stencil at all. It's going to only cut through or eat through the glass that is available inside the mesh. It shouldn't affect my mesh either. I've used etching cream on another um, stencil and had no issues using that stencil again and it was a hundred percent um, whole. It didn't have any holes or or anything. Okay, so what we need to do while we are working with this etching cream is you have to keep it on for, it says about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and um, either fast forward or cut to the end when I'm ready to take the etching cream off and reveal the um, fox underneath. Okay, we'll just go ahead and agitate it during the 15 minutes, checking my time, and we'll go. I'll go ahead and pull off the stencil before washing with water. Put this face down in a bath, grab some water and immediately start rinsing so that the process stops. See that lovely little fox in there. I'll continue to wash this off in the sink and then maybe give it a full wash with soap and water. I don't know if you can see that, but my little fox turned out really perfectly on there. And when Paxton comes over to visit, he can grab his glass and head on over for whatever drink he wants, knowing that the fox is his. Thank you for joining me. Please head on over to YouTube, Remade with Love, or my Facebook page for photos of all of my completed um, projects, my all, um, all of my three um, projects using stencils. I'll have my full uh, outline of my steps along with the products I used. Hey, if I can do this, so can you. This was pretty easy for all three and I think um, we have some pretty unique things that we can do with these products. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.